Hello, in this video I want to present the Intel Galileo Tower. And so this is a tower made of 16 Intel Galileo devices, uh, all bunched up together. And so basically what we did is we took the uh, 16 Galileo boards and we, um, we assembled them with this 3D printed part. So this part right here, this is, this is actually a top piece, but if you look at the, um, at the middle pieces, it actually is built so that it boxes in. And so you, you start with the bottom and you box them all in, and they have these special uh, places to grab all four corners of the board. So this, the piece looks a lot like this. Um, this piece has the top missing here, but basically the, the, the top would fit in the bottom. And then there's pins, there's four pins, and the four pins would fit in the bottom uh, four holes there. And so there's, there's one board that grabs uh, these two pins. There's another board that grabs these two pins. And so you can see how um, this, this part basically look, goes like this. And so there's the, the board, uh, the boards themselves hold the structure together uh, between the two rows. But there's no plastic going from this part to this part. It's just uh, basically this corner here going down the, each corner holding uh, two pins of one board and two pins of the other. Now the clever design is that all the cables are managed at the center of the tower. So if I go right through here, you can see the center of the tower and all the cables going down. And for the power, we have the power going uh, basically out the side and then going right back up uh, into the other board. And so all the power go down into the central hole. And then um, out the, the back here, we have all the network cables and all the power cables coming out as a big bunch and being plugged to uh, the power supplies, being plugged to the network routers. So since there's 16 here, we need um, 16 ports plus uh, ports to connect to each other and then a port to the network. Um, now, most of the traffic uh, is uh, going to go between the devices themselves. This is because they run the MeshCentral.com Mesh Agent and so the Mesh Agent is loaded on each of these uh, these small computers and uh, the computers will peer-to-peer -to -peer together in a mesh inside this tower. So um, now I'm going to show you what it looks like. I have a computer here with MeshCentral.com loaded and it's logged into the account that can see all the towers and you can see in the middle all the 16 computers there. Now there's one that's disconnected, but that's only because I had to, com to uh, hook up the computer instead of that device. So I just unconnected one of them, but all of them here are connected. And the tower, each board is actually numbered, so I have uh, number 14 right there. So if I wanted to um, take control of number 14, I would go down to right here, click this one, click terminal, hit connect, and I would get into the shell. Now this will work over the internet through proxies and firewalls, of course, because this is my central. So I can do this from home. Uh, CMD enter. Now I'm in the shell, top. And so I'm seeing the process as they're running on number 14. So actually the top board right here. Um, now obviously meshcentral.com will allow uh, the, each of these devices to talk to each other directly and securely, authenticate each other using certificates. They authenticate from the, the tower to the, the server on MeshCentral.com. And also, MeshCentral.com allows each of these devices to talk to other devices over the internet securely. So quite a bit of, um, of infrastructure there in addition to this really cool tower. Well, so that's it for today. Thank you very much.